Hi, today I have four five minute back to school hairstyles. These hairstyles are my go-to on busy school mornings. So let's get started and I will show you how to do them. Whenever I do a ponytail in her hair, I like to take a small section of hair right at the front of her head. I just make a square, then I add an elastic and do a flip. She has super fine hair and a lot of small baby hairs in front still, so this just helps to keep those hairs in place. So after I add the elastic, I just grab a topsy tail and I just put it through right under the elastic, put the hair upwards through the hole, and then pull it through just to create that flip. And that just really helps to keep those hairs in place. And then I use a comb and sometimes I use a brush. Right here I switched back and forth just to create a smooth ponytail. Now I like to make it as smooth as possible so just take your time to do that. And I used a heavy duty elastic to create the ponytail. I did my ponytail on the side. You could do it in the middle. It's totally up to you. The first style is a bubble braid with hair wrapped around each elastic. So to start, you're gonna grab your ponytail and go about two inches down and add an elastic. Now you could leave it plain like this, but I like to go around and just pull on that hair right above the elastic just to make it a little fuller. Then grab a small section of hair right below the elastic, smooth it out and wrap it around twice. Then grab a clear elastic and add that elastic right underneath the hair that you just wrapped and that will hold that hair in place really well and again you can go up and just pull on that hair to make it the way that you want it to look so again we're going to add an elastic two inches down grab a piece of hair wrap the hair around two times then get a clear elastic and just add that elastic under the hair that you wrapped around now I did the hair wrap before I started pulling on it. It really doesn't matter what order you do it in. So puff that hair out as much as you want and then just do this same technique all the way to the bottom of the ponytail. Once you get to the bottom, just finish pulling that hair out. And if you want to, you can add a ribbon or a bow. It's up to you. I love this style. I hope you do too. The next style is a faux fishtail. This is my go-to style. I use it all the time. It's my favorite. So to start, you're going to go down again about two to three inches and add an elastic. After you add that elastic, you're going to make a hole right above that elastic. So just use your fingers and create a hole then flip the hair upwards and through that hole and then just pull all the hair through. Now just tighten it up a little bit and you're going to pull on the hair on each side of the flip and this will just make it a little fuller instead of having it be so flat. I really like the effect that it gives. It definitely looks like a fishtail braid but it's so easy. Now before you add an elastic make sure you smooth out that hair and we're just going to do the same technique all the way to the bottom. So just add an elastic Make a hole above the elastic, flip it upwards through that hole, and then just pull on the hairs on each side just to make it fuller. And do this all the way to the bottom of the ponytail. So now that we're at the bottom, do that last flip, pull the hair out on each side, and that is it. This style is definitely my go-to. It is so cute. It looks like you spent a lot of time, but you really only took five minutes. The next style is a stacked bubble braid. To do this one, you want to find a piece of hair in the ponytail that is really long. So I usually go in the middle of the ponytail 
just find a small section of hair that will go the whole length of the ponytail. After you find that piece, you want to do a braid all the way to the bottom and then secure it with an elastic once you get there. So once you do that braid, go to the top, smooth out the hair behind the braid, then get an elastic and add it about two to three inches down. After you add the elastic, you're gonna pull on the hair on each side of the braid. Now the fuller you make it, the better it will look in my opinion. If you wanna just pull it out a little bit, you can do that, it's totally up to you. And then we're just gonna repeat this process all the way down the braid. And now you're done. This style does take a little bit longer because of that middle braid in the center, but I love the look of it. It's definitely worth the time. The last style is a pull through braid. This one takes a little longer, but not much. So take your ponytail and divide it in half horizontally. So you have a top piece and a bottom piece. So with that top piece, you're gonna add an elastic about two to three inches down. Now I like to make sure the hair is really smooth so after you add that elastic you're going to just get a comb or a brush and just smooth out that hair underneath. Now above the elastic you're just going to make a hole kind of like we did with the faux fishtail. You're going to put your fingers through the top of that hole, grab the hair underneath and pull it through. Now just tighten up that elastic and pull on each side just a little bit to add a little fullness to it. The more you pancake it, the better it will look. So grab a comb, smooth it out, add an elastic about two inches down, make a hole above that elastic, grab the hair underneath, and pull it through. Tighten it up and pull it out on each side. You're gonna repeat this all the way to the bottom of the ponytail. So once you reach the bottom of the ponytail, take a comb and brush out those two sections and then just add an elastic so that they can be secured together. And then you can go up and just pull on each section to make it a little more fuller. And that is it. This style does take a little longer, but it's definitely worth it. I hope that you guys like this back to school tutorial of these four hairstyles. They are definitely our go-tos in the morning and I hope that you enjoy recreating them on your own. Thanks again for watching. If you like this tutorial, we would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so that you can be notified of all of our upcoming tutorials. You can also click above if you want to see some of our past tutorials. We'll see you on our next video. Bye!